Okay, welcome back to another episode of Planet Base. Uh, for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with the game, Planet Base is a colony and builder up um, simulation. A um, sci-fi game where you are just into space with a bunch of colonists and um, it is up to you to survive and create a thriving colony. Now, we already started and as you can see in the background, uh, that's our planet. <laughs> and uh, it, it's horrible. Now, we already started. Let's continue. <clears throat> it's a little bit cold outside here. Anyways, where did I last uh, leave you guys? I left you guys with the first episode of our Class M planet. Uh, we were just about to uh, survive. I think we were already surviving. I think we were also already... Uh, Getting to grips with the surroundings, uh, starting to produce stuff. That's right. And we have a little bit of a problem with power, but it should be fine. Uh, we only have a couple more minutes of, uh, of night time left before daylight comes. And um, we still have quite a bit of uh, power storage left. Now, uh, we want, of course, the power collector to be built so that we can finally, uh, so we can store a little bit more power and survive the night. A little bit more in comfort. Now, we have all of these people. Let's check out the uh, status. Status is poor. <laughs> That's normal. Uh, we only have five colonists. Um, five colonists, of which uh, we have two workers, uh, one biologist, one engineer, and one medic. Now, the problem is that, of course, all these people um, are unhappy. There's, there's things that they can't control. Um... And of course, there's a. Uh, <laughs> they weren't very happy to begin with. We we had a little bit of a problem um, getting uh, things started. Uh, makes sense, of course. It's it's a survival game, and in the beginning, it's more about survival than thriving. So that uh, that's the situation. Uh, we need to get them happier than they are at the moment. Currently, they're pretty unsatisfied and very, uh, yeah, very dissatisfied about the situation they're in. It's fine. It'll get better. <clears throat> we have, of course, made our sickbay. We have a cabin. And we are producing food with our biodome. Currently, we have three vegetables. It's all good. And that is all being used to feed our people. It's going to be fine. It's going to be more than enough. Um, the only problem that we have is we have to... Um, Get these people all happy before we can start getting some more people. We need to get this line here to either good or excellent uh, before we can actually um, get anybody to come here. Shouldn't be an issue. Shouldn't be an issue. Um, we just need to get this power collector up and full um, so we can get, get through the night and then we'll turn everything back on. Uh, we should be fine. Now, what do we want? We need metal, of course, and we need plastic. Um, to do that, <laughs> uh, we need to get this, this stuff all up and running. So let's, let's, let's power everything up again. <clears throat> as soon as we're up to uh, good, we can power the uh, starport, and then we can start accepting some colonists. Right now, at the moment, we just want to have enough power to get through the night. Is, uh, that's what was, we're going to be able to do that with our uh, new power collector. That'll be good. So, everything's on the... You guys are all caught up. Uh, we have a bit of a problem with our wheat pad here. That's because we only have one biologist. And he can't uh, maintain all these pads on his own. Especially when he's uh, uh, taking a little bit of a, uh, a siesta. He's actually eating. It's not a siesta. It's just eating. <laughs> it's fine. It's good. We just need to get these people up and uh, happy a bit. That will happen because we have a bit of a TV here. And, of course, the cabin will also slowly but surely uh, raise morale. Now, the first thing we need, uh, bef before anything else, is, of course, a um, another biologist and an engineer. Those two uh, are kind of important. Um, we can survive without a medic for a little while, but we can't survive without a biologist or an engineer. Uh, an engineer is necessary for building stuff, and a biologist is necessary for creating food. Um, we won't starve immediately, and I think we would have the opportunity to get more biologists eventually. 
but we need to get this this uh, status up to good for us before we can do that and we can only do that if this biologist goes and takes a little bit of a nap and gets a little bit happier and it doesn't look like he's going to do that <clears throat> Uh, the medic here is also a little bit morale uh, drained. Um, hmm, we don't seem to be getting more power. We're already halfway through the day, and we need to get we need some more power. I think that's what we're going to have to be focusing on later. Uh, is getting another power a solar panel plant, um, so we can get. Oh, we got somebody hurt. That's not good. That's going to raise our level. <laughs> it's not going to raise a level at all. How can we get these people happier? Faster. Hmm. How do, how do we do that? How do we do that? Uh, we want them tired so they can all go and sleep in the cabin, of course. That will help. Um, but because we're such a, such a small group, uh, we need them all to be uh, happier. If we don't do that, then, um, well, <laughs> they won't get very happy at all. Uh, it's a good thing we have so much um, spare stuff, though. Medical supplies is okay. Five. We have spares. It's five. It's all right. Fine. We can manage with that. Uh, what we can't manage with is um, one of these people dying. They are all vital. Like, we can miss one wor worker but or one unhappy person. If an unhappy person like this biologist dies, our status would go from poor too good in a matter of seconds <laughs> can you go and take look at the tv screen you get a little happier good 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 excellent you do that how is our how are our things out here they're all reasonably good um they can't last out here much longer though we need to get them inside as soon as possible very poor. This thing is not going to produce anything. This weed pad is, is completely offline. It's not going to produce anything at all. Uh, all of these things are slowing down. Um, that's not good. <clears throat> all right. We have some power in this power collector. We have a lot of power in this power collector. It's full. Uh, all good. Uh, that means we'll, we'll make it through the night. No problems whatsoever. Um, something that we will have a problem with, though, is uh, we need to get... We need to get some more stuff. And we need to get a lab up and running. We need to have a lab so we can start making, manufacturing our own um, medicine. That's what we need. I'm going to be stretching it out a little bit, getting as much space in between of our colony as possible so we can possibly replace some of these buildings later with larger buildings. I want the core of our colony, this part here, to be... Uh, a little bit more flexible than the last time. The last time we were confined in a small little space before we could actually break out. This time, on the other hand, we have a very large open area where we can grow into. And I want to grow over up till here. This, th These rocks are um, temporary. They can be removed. Especially these ones here. So if we can go and build out in this direction and then over here in this direction and come out over here, that'll be great. And then we can, uh, we'll be able to expand in that direction. We can also, of course, expand over to here. Uh, this will be a little bit more difficult. We could get through this rock barrier, but hmm, we have to see. <coughs> It'll be fine. All right, here goes. Here goes the power. Alright, I think everybody's back up and running again. And we are back up to decent. Excellent. Decent is good. Um, but we need good. Good is the one where we actually get some colonists to come by. We need to get these people to sleep. Can you go and sleep some more? Going to Radish patch, Pad. Okay. So he's coming here to help these uh, pads um, get a little bit better. Just need, we need more colonists, that's all. We just need more colonists. More colonists means uh, more food. More food means more colonists. It's, it's basically a... Okay, he's back to... Okay, uh, he went up to being reasonably happy now. This person is going to go sleep. That will raise her morale and her uh, status as well. And then I think we will get to good. 
as soon as we have daylight, if we make it to the night. We're, we're losing quite a lot of power here. Um, let's turn this thing off. So there we go, 26. Excellent. Can turn this one off as well. We don't need that when there's, there's no power. Uh, when we have nobody working in the mine, then that's, that's, this is fine. All right, let's see. Um, everybody seems okay. Everybody seems happy. The only person that's not that happy is the biologist here, but he'll get happy soon. Uh, oh, we're in good. We're in good. Excellent. So let's power this up. This thing's going to take five power. It's okay. We can manage that. We have quite a lot of power stored. Be good. If we get our first colonists, then... Um, <clears throat> We can start moving from survival into thriving. And I like that. It's, imp it's a little bit important. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, going to potato pad. Good. I, I need him to either go to sleep or go to the TV screen. But he's a bit of a workaholic. I can understand that. I mean, these pads are all really bad shape. But he can only manage two pads maximum and that is only if uh, if he's fully motivated and fully uh, energized so right now normally he's not completely energized and <laughs> definitely not uh, fully motivated so that's why the rest of the pads are getting a little bit of uh, neglect it'll be fine as soon as we get an additional biologist here to land um, then uh, things will start to change <coughs> Like, there goes our power. It's a good thing we built this additional uh, power collector. So we have to manage the power a little bit more than we had to in the last episode. Last episode we had uh, far more... Uh, we had the ability to also, of course, generate power at night, our uh, wind turbines. And now, well, we are fully dependent on our power collectors at, at night. It's just, just nothing that we can do. Else, nothing else we can do about that. Going to get a meal. Are there any meals in here? Oh, there. Ah, it's nice. It's good. That means that we don't have to go outside to get meals. We have a bunch of meals outside here. Ready meals. Uh, they can take. Our power is low. It's fine. I wonder if they're actually going to come and land. Maybe we should turn this off. We'll turn it on in the sun when it's, when it's sunlight and it's daylight. <coughs> As soon as it's daylight, we'll turn the, the uh, landing pad back on again, and then we'll see if we can get a colonist, somebody to come by and uh, uh, drop off a couple colonists. That'll, that'll be nice, right? So for the moment, we just need to get, uh, we just need to make sure that we don't uh, run out of power. <coughs> so we have two plastic and two metal available. Uh, we could build the lab, but then we'll run out of plastic and we won't have any <laughs> We won't have anybody to do anything else for us. So that's a bit of a shame Power is critical. Yes, we can I can see that But it's fine. We still have a uh, we well, it's almost daylight and we still have a thousand somethings uh, to get through I need him to go take a nap or watch some TV. Get a little bit happier. You know what I mean? All right, here's the sun. <clears throat> what are you going to do? Going to get meal. Is this thing empty already? No, it's, it's there's a meal right there. Why didn't you get that meal? It's a bit odd. Okay, fine, no problem. Um, how's the power going? It's going up. Let's turn this up. Out and about. Just need to get somebody to come here and join us. We just need, also, we need somebody to go work in the mine, give us one more metal ore, so we can put down another solar panel. Um, and uh, that will be, um, that'll be nice. That'll be, that'll, I would like that. See, we're doing good. We're doing very good. Consider oh, there we go. Our first new colonists at our new colony. <laughs> So I hope it's at least, I think it's one biologist. Ah, expansion reached. Look at this, our little beautiful little colony. 
And we are finally expanding. Excellent. <clears throat> you managed to get new colonists to arrive at your base. Perfect. And we got a biologist to boot. Great. Now, um, what we want is an additional medic. So I'm going to put this at zero. And we're going to give ourselves another medic. So at least two. You need to have at least an, uh, one extra medic just in case uh, one of the medics dies for some particular reason. Then you want to have uh, the capacity to r replace that person. Or the ability. Now we're producing 60 kilowatts of power. Great. Just need to get. Can we, can we get somebody? This we can turn this thing off. Um, that should give us a little bit more. Uh, yeah, this, it's gone down a little bit. Just need to get this mine up and running. We just we just, we just need somebody to go there and uh, give us one more ore. If we get one more ore, then we can turn the mine off, and then we can turn the power produce uh, the production plant back on again, and we can get that little bit of ore turned into metal, and then we can produce one more solar panel. One little solar panel will help us um, get a little bit more power out of the sun, out of the day. And when we do that, then we can expand. So it's a bit, yeah. Well, uh, both our biologists are doing good work. If we could get this biologist to go and watch a little bit of TV. And as soon as we have all these pads in good condition, we can plop down a little bit more pads. And I think that we should definitely put down a medicinal pad and perhaps a little bit more uh, normal food pads. And that way we can uh, not, not just produce more food, but also start producing some medicinal plants for medical supplies. And medical supplies will be necessary uh, in case our people get stuck outside in a solar storm. Uh, solar flares cause radiation. It won't be very nice. <clears throat> so we have one more ore available. Excellent. Let's turn this off. Turn you back on again. <clears throat> Going to get a meal. Okay, you can get your meal. Uh, how many people are we, how many pads are we actually getting? Okay, these, these two, two pads here are finally, these three pads are improving. This one here, not so much. These three pads are still lacking, lagging behind a bit. Uh, that'll be fine. We'll get them up and running in no time. It's just that our food supplies is not, not is non-existent. <laughs> we don't have any supplies at all. <laughs> okay, if we can get one more colony ship to come by, that'll be nice. All right, our food is doing okay. Well, it's, it's the same potato pad has gone down from being decent to being poor again. That's, that's not so great. But uh, at least um, our biologists aren't bored. They have stuff to do. All right, this thing is definitely improving. Good. I'm not quite sure exactly what they're doing. Uh, maybe removing weeds or something. I don't know. Can we, can we check them out? We can't see exactly. I can't see exactly what he's doing. He's just ticking his screen, and that's about it. Um, all right, well, fine. Just keep doing your thing. So as soon as we have that one little metal left, uh, additionally, we can we could of course also build an additional power collector, this one. But um, since we can't fill this one up uh, fully, it doesn't make any sense. To do that yet, um, I think the first thing we should we should do is make an additional um, solar panel. Solar panel will help us fill both of these power collectors up to the max and uh, provide power for the rest of the colony when we don't need to uh, store any power. And that'll be helpful. <clears throat> So can we get that little bit of power? Ah, why aren't we getting anybody to come visit us? <laughs> I 
I'm not sure if I want to leave the pad on uh, during the night. I think that's a really bad idea. We shall see. I think I should turn it off. I think I should. As soon as it hits zero mark, it goes negative. Oh wait, we're uh, just in time. <laughs> you guys are lucky. I was about to turn this thing off. <laughs> so I'm going to do now, actually, as a matter of fact. Just drop me off. Oh, we got an engineer. Excellent. That is also a crucial uh, person. Um, now we have two engineers and two biologists. It's all good. So now we can turn the engineers section off. And put this back to biologist 50% and medic 50%. And that will give us our... Uh, that, will, that will create a... Um, it's basically that make that our core is now secure. So we want an additional power, uh, solar power plant. Do we want it here? Yes, I want it here. Excellent. And as soon as we can, um, we have this the material. We'll start replacing these guys with uh, bigger, uh, better um, solar panels. Milo here is incredibly unhappy, but he's definitely doing his work. It's all good. It's all good. We're doing fine. This thing will be built in no time. And that will allow us to fill up our second power collector to the max. And give us that little bit extra boost so that we can uh, start talking about producing a, uh, a lab. I think the lab will be an excellent idea. The lab would allow us to finally um, start thinking about keeping the mine open full time. And of course, producing some very vital uh, bioplastic, I mean, no, <laughs> medis med medical supplies. <clears throat> All right, excellent. That's good. Uh, now we should get that back up again. Now that we have that up running again, we could uh, start talking about uh, perhaps turning the mine back on again. This only takes about like, 4.5 uh, power. Uh, that's good. We, we will have enough. We have enough. We can also, if we need to, uh, resort to closing everything off again um, when, uh, when, we, or we, when we run into trouble again. But for now, we just need to get... I think it's... I think, how, much, how, much, how much metal is this? This is... One metal and one plastic. So in total, two. Two metal and two plastic because we also need that for the connection. So I want to put it right there. I think that's, this is this will be a good spot. Right there. That's how I want it. Um, that will give us the uh, necessary... Uh, capabilities to produce medical supplies that will be done as well and then the next thing that we have to do on our list is the factory and the factory we need to do we need to put down as soon as we have an additional oxygen generator as soon as we have another oxygen generate oxygen generator we can start thinking about uh, going uh, full scale and I want to put the oxygen generator over here just, just, just still in reach of the uh, lab and the uh, biodome, right there. Maybe even the bigger one of the two, so that we can. We still have. Yeah, we have seven out of twenty, which is nice. But uh, we'll reach that twenty mark very soon, um, and we want to keep growing. Growing is what we are doing. That's what we have to do. Growing is important. Growing will get us uh, what we want. And to be able to grow, we need more people. <laughs> ah, it's so cool. Okay, I love it. It's so much fun. This base management is uh, it's, it's enjoyable. It's just as enjoyable as Minecraft, I think. Okay, we could definitely use an additional uh, biologist. Uh, our food supplies are staying reasonably high and stable at two. That's good. Um, we got some more food right there. Three more pads. Excellent. 
So that means our food is going up. It's stable, staying there at f uh, close to five. It's going to go up even further now. We'll just see. You'll see it go up to uh, this line right here. Yeah, there it goes, right there. So that's how much we are producing. That means we're doing well. Uh, we're doing better than we were doing uh, a couple of minutes ago. How's our power? Power storage is low. Of course it is, but the night's almost over. And we have three solar panels that will be producing power for us. And uh, that should get us through the night. Let's see, we have one more ore to go. Um, we have enough uh, medical supplies to get through this part. How is our status? Status is good. And that's mainly because of our unhappy, <laughs> slightly unhappy, uh, biologist Milo over here. Milo needs to get uh, needs to get laid, <laughs> or he needs a beer. One of the two. Solar flares. I need people to stay. Uh, I need this close. Get back inside. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, bloody hell! Where are you going? You are you were supposed to go inside. Can I turn you back on again? Come on, go back in. Uh, no, he's radiated. He's radiated. He's got radiation poisoning already. And our medical supplies are outside. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, that's not good. So there's nothing we can do for him inside here. We can, of course, turn this on. He can go lie down. Uh, but we need to go outside to get the medical supplies. Uh, and that is, of course, not so smart. <laughs> So there's nothing we can do for him at the moment. And he's slowly dying. <coughs> the thing is that I the robot can withstand the, the, the harshness of the outside environment at the moment. But um, if I open the door, there's a high chance that the medic, uh, our medic Bailey, would go outside. And if she gets sick, irradiated or whatever, uh, there'll be nobody to heal her. <laughs> uh, so you see the dilemma. Uh, we have to save Andrew. Uh, I think that'll be the, the solar flare is already over. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's turn the po let's put power that up again. Uh, let's power everything up again. It's all good. Uh, so you can see we were generating 90 kilowatts of power now. Uh, we are generating 90 kilowatts of power with our uh, solar power plants. Uh, that's all good. Uh, Andrew needs to get healed. Where is our medic? Our medic. See, I knew it. It would be. It would be the medic. It's always the medic. Let's turn this back on again. Power up. Let's power this up as well. So our medic is. Uh, yep. There we go. So she should be able to save Andrew's life. Uh, he still has a while to go before he's uh, he, he um, rivets his rat cr last croak. <laughs> Uh, Croaks' last ribbit. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's, it's English to me. Um, so he should be able to make it. It'll be fine. It's gonna be close. But as soon as she gets right to here, you'll see his health improve. Stabilize and then get better. And currently, well, we have two workers, so he's not vital. He's not vitally important. He's just, he's just important. And we can't do it without him. It'd be nice to have him with us as well. So because he's uh, a bit, yeah, glowing in the dark, that has uh, definitely decreased our status from uh, good to decent again. And we have the problem with our Milo biologist who is just not happy. <laughs> uh, come on, Milo, go do something with your life. All right, we have Good supply of vegetables and a uh, good supply of meals. That's good. Uh, we have more than enough materials to keep everybody alive for a while. And uh, power is good. Uh, our power collector is going to be filled up in uh, it's a little bit. Um, it's all good. Everybody seems happy, except of course for Milo. And our status is returned back to good. Perfect. Now we just need to get more colonists. And of course, we need to get this uh, connection up and running. Ooh, I saw that. I saw that. 
need to get this uh, lab running. Uh, as soon as we have a little bit more plastic, we have a lot of bio. We have all the starch in our uh, in our bioplastic generator, bioplastic processor. So you need a little bit of starch, and then we can put down a uh, medicinal pad. The thing is that uh, if we don't have a biologist who can take care of that pad, it will produce just as poorly as these other pads here, uh, and take a long time to produce anything of any value. So it's important that we get some more bio, uh, some more biologists. The trouble is that they don't want to land. <laughs> There's no ships around for them to uh, to hitch a hike, uh, hitch a ride on, and come to our colony. And with our prestige only at 16, dropping from 17 to 16, that definitely doesn't seem very likely. We also have the fact that we have we have a need for biologists and a medic. Uh, there's a big chance that our next ship will contain a medic and not a biologist, making it even more uh, of a uh, little bit of a hassle. So Milo is getting finally getting tired. I need him to go to bed. Milo, go to bed. Can we can we go to bed, Milo? Hmm. He'll go to bed eventually. <laughs> All right. The mine is has finally produced um, the two ores that we need. So let's shut down the mine. I need my workers to work in the processing plant to produce the plastic and the metal that we need. Uh, as soon as that's done, then we can have our lab built and we can have our uh, extra pads built. That, that's kind of important. But right now, <laughs> we've definitely, we've dropped down to decent because people are tired. That's fine. Milo's sleeping. Excellent. Because Milo's asleep, our status is going to go up. Stop looking at people sleeping. Creepy engineers. All right, there we go. We got another colonist. Excellent. So, we, yes, we got a medic. <coughs> that means that we can turn this up. We can get more workers and we can get more biologists by turning this to 50-50. We have equal share of all the colonists. We have two, 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 except of course for two guards. We don't need two guards yet. Which is perfect. Milo is gonna get a little bit happier in a second here. It's gonna go from yellow to green. And that, as soon as that happens, this status will go to excellent, which is what we want. Now, in order, we also have to keep these people happy um, in the long run. So, oh, ah, Milo, you came out of bed too soon. Biologists are incredibly difficult to keep happy. That's kind of obvious. <laughs> And apparently he can feel the potato pad uh, being in trouble. So um, it's calling to him, asking him to rescue it. Come and rescue me, come and rescue me, help me. That's what, it he, that's what he hears. And uh, he hears that in his sleep. Now the other biologist on the other hand is just slowly snoring away, keeping his morale high, disease high, everything else is good. But Milo, on the other hand, he's a tortured soul. All right, we need one more um, metal. We need to get this processed. As soon as that's processed, um, <clears throat> we can build our little lab here. That'd be nice. So at the moment, there's not much to do for these guys. They're all a little bit uh, bored. Uh, do we? Can we have somebody else come here and do a little bit of work? Let's put the power priority up on this guy. Priority on this guy can go down a bit. It's not a big deal. Where's our worker? That's an engineer. This is also probably an engineer. Yep. And our additional worker is here sleeping. It's good. Keeping our state is good. I say good a lot. Good, 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 good. It's not just not. Um, a bit annoying it's just the fact is that <laughs> we are doing okay <laughs> so as soon as we have some plastic here 
we'll put down a little pad for medical supplies uh, a medical pad and uh, we'll start producing that so we can make our new medical supplies over here and if we could have an additional worker just one or two then we could have the mine up and running at full capacity or the processing plant at full capacity that would be nice because currently we have either our two workers sitting in the processing plant and nobody in the mine or we have everybody in the mine and nobody in the processing plant we can of course share with one in the mine and one here but that almost never happens because they also have to eat they have to sleep um, talk to the kids go to the toilet that kind of stuff <laughs> all right we have the uh, bioplastic available let's put this down <clears throat> we also have the last little bit of metal that we need that's also being produced so we can build our lab now we also need to get a little bit more plastic we need to get a workbench set up in here and the workbench um, needs a plastic needs some plastic all right the night's almost over and we still have a full power collector available so we'll be fine we're gonna make it Excuse me. Had a little bit of an itch. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. We have. No, I think our vegetables are doing fine. We went all the way up to seven, which is great. Um, we haven't had any visitors though. Hmm. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. They'll come eventually. And our status of our uh, solar panels is finally starting to drop. That means we'll be using spares soon. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, but we'll get to that as well. Um, as soon as we have the lab up and running, uh, we'll be producing medical supplies on demand. Uh, we can start thinking about putting down a factory. Ah, here we go. We got some more colonists. I think it's only going to be one, because we are only state is good. <clears throat> we'll see. Oh, excellent. A worker and a biologist. Oh, you guys are great. I like it. Good job, people. Good, good job. All right. That was very close. Our lab has been built. Let's put down a... Um, yep. A, uh, a workbench. Uh, we need this, this puppy up and running. It's 95%, so it'll be good. Turn the priority off on that. And get the priority on this back up again. We need more metal. And with metal, we can start making our uh, factory. Where in our case, actually, we want to make a, another uh, big uh, oxygen generator. Right there. That's what we want. Just fine. Okay, power is back up again. Um, that's good. We're producing twice as much, more than twice as much power as we need. It's excellent. That means we can store quite a lot of power. Uh, but we just need some more plastic. How is the plastic doing? Plastic is okay. We already we have we have the bench up. It's going to be up and built up as soon as our engineer comes and uh, constructs that for us. Excellent. How is how is our status here? Doing okay. Meals, though. Ready meals are a bit low. We only have four. Uh, I need some more plastic. This plastic needs to be processed. And if it gets processed, then we can put down another um, meal maker. Which will allow for uh, the last... All of our... I think all of our vegetables to be put inside of these machines. That would be good. Currently, we have ten colonists. Excellent. <clears throat> How's our status? Status is good. All right, there we have. <laughs> All three of our workers are in the mine currently. Uh, it's so funny. All right. Um, but because um, we need a little bit more plastic. But Milo's still unhappy, isn't he? Yeah, yes, this is Milo. Um, 
Is our bot now reducing our status? Yes, he is. Where are you going? You're going to get the spares. Okay, he's going to get the spares to repair our solar panel over here, which is still good, but it needs to get better. It needs to be put back to excellent. It's an ongoing battle. As soon as this, this thing is uh, returned back to status excellent, it will start to reduce in status almost immediately, and it will stay excellent for very long. It's a bit of a shame, but it's fine. No problem. All right, we got Milo working on the medical plant, medical pad. Uh, excellent. Uh, as soon as we have a little bit more plastic. <laughs> oh, we need more plastic. We need everything. We need everything. We need more workers. We need more plastic. We need more, basically, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's how it is. And we didn't, went down to decent. I don't think we'll get any more colonists coming by if we're at level decent. Nobody will come to a colony that's, that's decent. So that's a bit of a shame. All right, we got eight vegetables. And more than our meal maker can, can contain. Uh, so the capacity is at maximum. Um, bioplastic processor is also at maximum. Uh, we could put down another bioplastic processor here. I think that that would be a good idea. Let's go right ahead and do that. As soon as we get some metal, uh, we'll put that in there. And um, we'll be able to produce a little bit more plastic. Plastic is important because that will allow us to uh, produce more um, medical supplies. And of course later, some more spares. <coughs> But for that to happen, we definitely need um, need some people. <laughs> we need some people to come here and process this this material. So we need our status back up to st to to good or excellent, and we need uh, a colony ship to come by and land. How is our water? Water is doing fine. So our pads are excellent, in excellent condition. That means we have enough biologists to uh, maintain all these pads. Excellent. So we can return this, we can put this up to 100% workers now. Uh, we don't need any more biologists. Biologi these biologists can all maintain these pads uh, in excellent condition. Um, it's good. Our, our food supplies are, uh, are growing. Uh, it's going up and up and up. It's perfect. We don't need any more biologists. Um, we just need plastic. <coughs> plastic is what we need to keep our um, keep growing. For that, we need to get some more uh, workers. How is our status? Status is good. Can we get this pad up and running again? Yep, there we go. And we still have a bit of daylight left. There could be some colony ship flying just around the colony, uh, whatever, over the colony or what. And he has uh, like six, maybe six, seven workers. <laughs> I don't think we could feed six, seven workers if they came down and dropped down on us immediately. But um, all right, the mine, it's, it, this thing is full. The metal process is full. So we can't, uh, we can't handle any more uh, ores anyway. So the ore that this guy is carrying right there is going to go into this medical pro metal processor and um, that'll be it. It'll be full. So we might as well just take everybody out of the mine and put them to work in here instead. <clears throat> there we go. People are going to sleep. Milo is going to sleep. Where's Milo? There's Milo. Good. So I think this time his morale should turn green. If he turns green, <laughs> that'll be nice. I would like to have him turn green. No, not like the Hulk, but this, 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 this is a. Uh, you know what I mean. Let's turn this off. We don't need the medical su supplies at the moment. We don't need to do that. Uh, we just need to get more plastic and we need to get some metal. We need to get these guys out of bed and working once again. Go take a uh, six, uh, take, drink some water. Perfectly good. And then go take a nap. Oh, look at that. We are an excellent. And that's because Milo has finally decided to go a bit happy, become a bit happier.
How much is that medicinal plant? 90%. Good. So that's, uh, that's going to generate some uh, medical supplies in a little bit. Uh, we are at max. We can't get better than this. This is excellent. <laughs> well, it's uh, not so much. Because that means as soon as we get a um, somebody to drop by, a colony ship dropping by, uh, they could come down with maybe four, three or four colonists at once. And that will uh, definitely strain our resources. <clears throat> And considering that we put everything at 100% workers, uh, getting three additional workers would be nice. Um, it would just be a little bit of a hassle keeping them alive. Anyways, that's our colony. We're doing good. We're thriving, slowly, slowly. And we'll be expanding this uh, in due time. It's all going quite well. Um, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary as long as we don't get hit by a meteorite. Uh, if we don't lose uh, our biodome... <laughs> We should be fine. We have status excellent. We have 10 colonists um, and one bot. And we are doing great. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It helps. And be honest. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Where we uh, struggle on. All right. Have a nice night. Bye bye.